Hello everyone! In this video, we are going to discuss how to find the slope of a line given the graph or the two points. Let us start with the graph. The slope m is defined as the ratio of the vertical change between two points or the rise to the horizontal change between the same two points or the run. Or simply, slope is equal to rise over run, rise is the vertical change, and run is the horizontal change. Let us proceed with our first example. We are going to use rise over run to identify the slope of this line. But before we do that, let us locate first any two points on this line. For example, this and this. Then we may start counting the vertical change starting from the first point, which is this one, then we will count going upward since we are counting for the rise until we reach the coordinate of the second point. Let us start. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. The vertical change is 5. Then to count for the horizontal change, please take note that if the direction of the line is going to the right, the slope is positive. But if the direction of the line is going to the left, the slope will be negative. But since the direction of this line is going to the right, then therefore, the slope is positive. Let us count the run. 1, 2. So, the denominator of this slope is 2. Therefore, the slope of this given line is 5 over 2. Let us have the second example. Still, we will be using rise over run to identify the slope. But before we start, locate any two points on this graph. Let us use these points. Then, count the vertical change or the rise. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. The denominator of this slope is 6. Then, count the run. 1, 2. And as you can see, the direction of this line is going to the left. Therefore, the slope will be negative. And the horizontal change again is 2. So the slope of this given line is negative 6 over 2, which is equal to negative 3. Third example. Again, identify any two points on this given line. 1, and then count the rise and the run. Let us count the rise. 1, 2, 3. So 3 is the denominator of our slope. Then for the run, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. As you can see, the direction of the line is going to the left. Therefore, our slope is negative and the denominator or the horizontal change is 5. Therefore, the slope of this given line is negative 3 over 5. Another, what if you have a horizontal line? Since the given line is horizontal, then it means you have no vertical change. So, 0 for our numerator. And then, whatever the horizontal change will be for the horizontal line, automatically, the slope will be equal to 0. You do not have to count the rise and the run. If the line is horizontal, automatically, the slope will be 0. Do not forget that. Another, what if the line is vertical? Whatever the value of the vertical change in this given line, since there is no horizontal change, automatically, the denominator will be 0. And in mathematics, if you have a denominator of 0, the number is undefined. Therefore, the slope of this given line is undefined. Again, if the line is vertical, the slope automatically is undefined. Let us now proceed in finding the slope of a line given two points. The formula in getting the slope of a line given two points is m is equal to y sub 2 minus y sub 1 over x sub 2 minus x sub 1 x sub 1 and y sub 1 represents the first point, whereas 
x sub 2 and y sub 2 represents the second point. Let us have our first example. Given two points, 1 and negative 2, and 3 and 2, we will use the formula in getting the slope. Before we start substituting, assign first x sub 1, y sub 1 on the first point, and x sub 2, y sub 2 on the second point. And then, just follow the formula of getting the slope. Let us start with y sub 2, or the second y coordinate. As you can see, the second y coordinate is positive 2. Therefore, we will write in the numerator positive 2, then copy the minus sign from the given formula. Minus sign from the given formula. After that, let us continue. Substitute y sub 1, or the first y coordinate we have here, negative 2. So we will write in the numerator negative 2. After that, let us proceed with the denominator x sub 2, or the second x coordinate, which is positive 3. Let us write in the denominator. Then copy the minus sign from the given formula. And then followed by x sub 1, or the first x coordinate, which is positive 1. And so we may now solve for this slope. Subtract 2 minus negative 2. This is the same with canceling out this 2 negative sign, and it will change the operation into plus sign. So we have 2 plus 2, which will give us a positive 4. And for the denominator, 3 minus 1 will give us positive 2. Therefore, the slope of these two points is equal to 2, which is the simplest form of 4 over 2. Another example. Again, we have two points as our given. The first point is negative 2, negative 1. The second point is negative 4 and 5. Assign x sub 1, y sub 1 for the first point and x sub 2, y sub 2 for the second point. Then, follow the formula for slope. Start with y sub 2 for our numerator. Our y sub 2 here is positive 5. Let us write positive 5 in the numerator. Then, copy the minus sign from the formula. And then, followed by y sub 1. The y sub 1 in the given points is negative 1. Let us write negative 1 in the numerator. Then, let's proceed with the denominator. x sub 2. So, our x sub 2 is negative 4. Let's write negative 4 in the denominator. Copy the minus sign from the given formula and followed by x sub 1. x sub 1 here is negative 2. Let us write in the denominator negative 2. After that, you may solve. Again, we have two negative signs here. We may cancel them. Then add the numbers. 5 plus 1 will give us positive 6. Same with the denominator. Let us cancel out the two negative signs and it will become plus. So we have negative 4 plus 2. So you have to subtract since they have different sign. 4 minus 2 is 2. And copy the sign of the larger number, which is negative. So we have negative 2. Then after that, simplify. 6 divided by 2 will give us 3. And copy the sign of the denominator. So the slope of these two given points is negative 3. Third example. Again, we have these two points. Assign x sub 1, y sub 1 for 2 and 1. Then x sub 2, y sub 2 for 0, 4. Following the formula, we will start with y sub 2. So we'll have positive 4 in the numerator. Then copy again the minus sign from the formula. After that, y sub 1. y sub 1 is here and it is positive 1. And then for the denominator, x sub 2. x sub 2 is 0, so we have 0 in the denominator. Copy the minus sign from the given formula and then followed by x sub 1. x sub 1 is equal to positive 2. 
Then proceed in simplifying this fraction. 4 minus 1 will give us positive 3. And then 0 minus 2 will give us negative 2. Therefore, the slope of these two points is negative 3 over 2 or negative 3 halves. Example number 4. Assign x sub 1, y sub 1 for the first point and x sub 2, y sub 2 for the second point. Following the formula for slope, let us start with y sub 2. We have here positive 2. Then copy the minus sign from the given formula. And then y sub 1, we have positive 2 as well. And for the denominator x sub 2, we have here negative 2, copy the minus sign from the given formula. And then we have x sub 1, which is positive 3. We may now solve 2 minus 2 will give us 0. Then negative 2 minus 3 will give us negative 5. And since this fraction has a numerator of 0, therefore, the slope of this given two points is equal to 0. It means that when you graph the line of these two points, the line will be horizontal. Example number 5, we have 1, 1 and 1, 4. Again, assign x sub 1, y sub 1, x sub 2, y sub 2. Then follow the formula. Start with y sub 2. y sub 2 here is positive 4. So we have positive 4 in the numerator. Copy the minus sign from the given formula. And then y sub 1. y sub 1 is equal to positive 1. Let us have positive 1 here. And then for the denominator, we have x sub 2. x sub 2 is equal to positive 1. Then x sub 1 is also equal to positive 1. Let us now simplify. 4 minus 1 will give us positive 3. Then 1 minus 1 in the denominator will give us 0. And again, in math, if the denominator is 0, it means the value is undefined. Therefore, the slope of these two given points is undefined. Let us now summarize the different slope we have obtained. If the direction of the line on the graph is going to the right, then the slope is positive. If the direction is going to the left, then the slope is negative. If the line is horizontal, the slope is zero, and if it is vertical, then the slope is undefined.